Hello, Professor Sutter's ENG 102 class. This is Daniel Calandro, one of the librarians here at Mercer County Community College. And today I'll be going over resources where you guys can find some uh, help for your paper on the road by Cormac McCarthy. You can write pretty much on any topic that uh, is about the road. So if you can think of a topic, it's definitely in there. Uh, it's a pretty broad book, despite seeming uh, fairly sparse in its text, but uh, it's one of my favorites. I enjoyed it very much. So your professor uh, is allowing you to write on more or less any topic. So your keyword terms can be really all over the map. Uh, probably the easiest way to start is just by searching for the road uh, and McCarthy together and seeing what comes up. And from there, you can go into a whole bunch of different directions. Uh, you can talk about the symbolism, how fire is good. Uh, he's carrying the fire. Uh, it's the civilization, humanity, goodness, whatever you want. It's a whole bunch of things. Uh, but it's symbolic of something. Uh, you can talk about religion in it. You can talk about the apocalypse. You can talk about the father-son relationship. You can talk uh, how it's about an allegory for environmentalism. Uh, all of these things are in the book, believe it or not. So when you search in your database search, you may want to try and be uh, a little more specific so you don't get too much stuff. I'll show you a couple of places that you guys can look. We'll go through it really quickly. This way you can see as much as possible. Uh, and then of course, if you have any questions, concerns, things like that, please let us know. All right, so just as a quick reminder, in the databases, ideally you are going to try to find scholarly sources. This is information written by scholars, by experts. Uh, it then goes through a peer-reviewed process where other experts review them. The databases I'm gonna show you today pretty much all have scholarly peer-reviewed information in them. Uh, sometimes it's pretty much by default, other times you have to click it, uh, but I will point out in the databases where you can find those buttons when you need to find them. And as I said, since this is a uh, pretty well, uh, it's, there's a lot of scholarly information on it. It's very well presented. Uh, so what you may want to do is use a Boolean operator to help you narrow down your search terms, search results. So, and is the way to do that. You wanna say, for example, the road and McCarthy, that will definitely narrow it down. Then you may want to add in another and and say, symbolism, fire, uh, environmentalism, whatever uh, it is that you're interested in, okay? And of course, the more you say and, the fewer search results you're going to get. So let's go ahead and take a look in our databases and see what we can find. So first you head to the main Mercer County Community College webpage, www.mccc.edu. And then you scroll down to the section that says current slash returning students and go ahead and click on library services. Now, uh, I'll quickly show you MerSearch, I'll show you two of the databases, and I'll show you eBrary, uh, eBook Central. So again, you can use any of them. For what it's worth, books are usually considered scholarly peer reviewed, so they will count towards your uh, required, <clears throat> excuse me, required sources. Now, when you search for the road, if you just search for the road, you're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff that isn't necessarily on the road. Uh, so you'll get stuff on like the Silk Road, things like that. So what I like to do is type in the road and then type in McCarthy. And that will usually get you uh, article search results about Cormac McCarthy's The Road. Uh, sometimes you may want to put in uh, the road in these double quotes to find that exact phrase. You can do that as well. So if we did that, it would find us just those two words next to each other. Okay. And again, we can do that and it will narrow it down even further. You can see with MerSearch, actually, one of the nice things, we are able to find not only uh, scholarly articles like this one here, okay, but we're also finding a whole bunch of books that are available in the library. So unfortunately, the library is physically closed, uh, but we do have some ebooks that we can use, and I'll show you how to access them. Uh, but that's what's nice about MerSearch is that you can find lots and lots of stuff. Now, uh, of course, if we, you know, we're not going to go through 300,000 search results. So as I said, we may want to narrow it down to just our, our journal articles, our peer-reviewed articles. So if we click on that, that will help us uh, narrow down our search results. And see here, now we're down to 28,000. So again, we can type in uh, and environmentalism. That should do it. Okay. And we can do that, and it narrows it down even further. OK, 
Okay. So again, the more keyword terms we put in, the fewer search results we're going to get. Okay. So if we want, we can go ahead and click on one of these articles. What you may want to do first is take a look at the preview or really what's the uh, known as the abstract that tells you really quickly what the article is about. So here you can see that this is actually talking about the film. Uh, so not exactly what we're looking for, but for the purposes of this, this video showing you quickly that it would be helpful. Um, if you look here, it's actually saying it's also kind of looking at these other films in conjunction with the road. So for example, if you were to find an article about uh, McCarthy's work uh, that involved all the pretty horses, no country for old men, things like that, Blood Meridian, uh, you don't necessarily care about those um, novels. You just want to focus on the road. So there's no reason you can't use something like that. You would just, again, want to focus on uh, your story that you're interested in. Okay. So there we go. There's our, um, there's our preview, our abstract. So if we want to look at it, we just simply click on it and it will go ahead and take us to the article. Now, I'm already logged in because I was recording other videos. So it's going to take me right to the article in the database. Normally, if this is your first time logging in, you're going to see this login screen here asking you to log in. So whether you click on a database or an article in Merge Search or uh, go into eBrary, you're going to see this login screen. You can see the login there is telling you that you need to log in with the same information as your MyMercer portal account. So your first name dot last name and then your date of birth in that format. Okay. All right. So uh, here, here is our article, we can see that we have the title, we have the author, the source it came from, and again, the abstract telling us what this is about. And we can scroll through and read this article. If it's good and you decide you want to use it, great. You can go ahead and you can email it to yourself. You can send it to Mercer, Yahoo, Gmail, whatever works for you. Okay. You can also download the PDF as well. So if you want, you can click on that and it'll download the article. And then finally, you want to generate the citation for it. So if we click on the cite button, it'll go ahead and generate the citation. Please remember that you want the MLA 8th edition citation, okay? So you want this to say MLA 8th edition, and there is your citation, okay? Now, great. Since you guys are going to find uh, multiple sources, you can, of course, go and scroll through Mercer search. That's fine. The other thing you can do is you can take a look at your article here that you found. And as I said, if you click on this author's name, if you click on the journal, you'll be able to find more stuff in this journal or by this author. You can look over here on the right and it's giving you some um, related articles as well. So if we want, we can click on one. So here we can click on this article and it'll take us to another article. And again, same thing post-apocalyptic naming in Cormac McCarthy's The Road. There's the title, there's the author, the journal, the abstract, okay, same thing, okay? And you can see they're all connected here. So as you uh, look through these articles, you should be able to hopefully find more articles uh, on your topic. One of the things that's also helpful is if you go into one of the articles here, just like you guys, they are going to list the sources that they use to write this article. So you can go and you can scroll through, and then at the end, they'll have a list of sources that they used. In this case, it's got some notes here, uh, and there's your references. Okay. And we can go and we can look through this and see, maybe there's something interesting in here for us. Finally, what you can do is, if you are uh, in your article, what you can do is you can hold down your control key and hit F, and you can actually search for particular words in this article. So let's type in uh, pollution, maybe. Let's see if that appears. Nope. Okay. How about, uh, let's try environment. environment. That's going to come up. But we'll just do environment and see there. Environment, 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 environment. Okay. So uh, that may be one of the things that you can do, especially something like this, where you're interested in one particular idea. Where does it uh, uh, show up? Okay. Great. If you like the search in Merge Search, that's great. If not, you can highlight, copy your search, and you can pick one of our other databases. They'll all work the exact same way. Now, uh, it's important to make sure you pick the correct database, because if you tried to search for, say, this topic in uh, the business databases, probably not going to get good search results. 
So let's take a look at our other databases. See where it says quick links? Go in here where it says databases by subject. And you may want to start under the humanities section and use the Gale Literature Database. Uh, the Gale D Literature Database is great for this kind of research because it's only going to contain really peer-reviewed uh, literature criticism, literary analysis. So in here, you're going to find uh, a little bit more focused search results. So hopefully it'll get rid of some of the film criticism ones, as well as kind of, you saw we got a bunch of other uh, odd ones that weren't really on our topic. Again, you can go ahead and you can plug in your search. Uh, I'll leave the environmentalism bit in there to see what we get. Okay, we did that search. And you can see we've got 16. And we can scroll through and see if there's anything interesting. I'm going to take out the environmentalism bit so it will be a little more uh, broad because I want to find a McCarthy one. There we go. All right. Uh, you can see now we have uh, way too many, probably 844. So that's a lot. Okay. So we can go and we can take a look at these um, articles here and see if there's anything interesting. Again, we maybe want to type in a keyword term. Uh, what's one of the keyword terms I didn't use? Let's do a broad one like sim. Listen and see what comes up. There, 95, that's a little bit better. Okay. And we can scroll through and see. When we uh, click on one of these articles, we'll basically see the same exact thing that we saw in the other database. We'll see the title, we'll see the author, the source that it came from. Here we have an abstract right there, okay, telling us what this article is about. And again, we can scroll through it. You see, it's actually highlighted the road and McCarthy for us. And it'll too, it'll also have your, uh, the sources at the end. There you go. References. Okay. Just like the other database, you can go ahead and you can download the article. You can send it to yourself. There's your email option there. And then again, you can click on the site button and it will generate the citation for you. Once again, the MLA 8th edition. You can see too, these are a little more focused. They're uh, not as broad. They focus more on the novel than on the uh, movie, which is good. So great, there is your search. Bless you, it's okay. <laughs> that was my wife sneezing. <laughs> so uh, again, Gale Literature would be a good database to start. Uh, the Literary Reference Center would be another good one as well. Again, it just contains more literature criticism. Uh, and then finally, the last two. The ProQuest Central database would be a good one. You actually saw that uh, first article actually came out of a ProQuest database interface. So if you want, you can use ProQuest Central. You can also use Academic Search Premier. Academic Search Premier is a good uh, general database to use for really pretty much any topic. Um, here you have a new button that you did not have before. That is your full text button. Okay, So you'll want to click that. Also, you have a scholarly peer review button, so you'll want to click that as well. So you can see with these general databases, since it's a little more broad, we want to focus our search. So I'll plug in that Road and McCarthy search again, leaving the road in quotes, and we'll search and see what we can find. Okay, there we go. You can see we have uh, 161 search results. That's quite a lot. Okay, and we can scroll through and see if there's anything interesting. Uh, I believe this one here, there is no God and we are his prophets. I believe that is your Professor Setter's uh, favorite scholarly peer reviewed article ever. Uh, he's so happy when we find this in the database. It's one of his favorite quotes from the movie. Uh, he has, believe it or not, lots of tattoos uh, of that quote. Ask him, he'll tell you. So there's our article. Again, we'll see the same thing. The title, the author, the journal. Here again is the abstract. You notice that we don't actually have the article right here. Oh, we do. There it is. Uh, it may also be available here in PDF, too, that you want to click on. So we can scroll through it. And again, same thing. We also have our email option there, and we can click on our site button. This one, it's going to pop up kind of in the middle here, and we have to just scroll down to the MLA citation, and there it is. Now, this does not tell you that it is the eighth edition. Usually with these databases, uh, if they don't tell you, it is the most recent edition. They don't use old editions in them. Sometimes it's a, an option you can click, but if it's just like this, it's the most recent one, so you're good here. Okay, so great. So there, that's another one you can do. And you can see too, we actually have these nice little subject terms. So if I click on uh, this subject term here about the book, 
it's going to find me all of the articles about this book. And I can go ahead and I can click full text and I can click on peer reviewed as well. And it'll just show me all of those subject terms. Okay, and we can scroll through. All right, great. So that's it for the databases. Uh, finally, with resources, we can use our electronic books, eBrary eBook Central. So in here, instead of finding journal articles, you will find articles, uh, sorry, you will find book and books and book chapters. So if we do our search here, same thing, McCarthy and the Road. What's nice about this is if there is something in particular in the book we are interested in, we don't have to like scroll through all 300 pages of it. We can go ahead and just type in a keyword term and it will show us where in the book it appears. So here, there's our search results for uh, McCarthy and the Road, and we can scroll through and see if there's anything interesting, okay? So you can see too that we have a whole bunch of, um, you know, here there's films of Bob Hope, we're not looking uh, about that exactly. So this is where we may wanna plug in our additional keyword term, the road and whatever it else is that we're interested in. So here we'll click on one of these, excuse me, we'll click on one of these uh, search results. There's our title, there's our author. If we look here in the description, it tells us very quickly what this article is, uh, what this book is about. And probably most helpful is if we look here, we have our table of contents, our chapter. So if we look here, look, there's one on the environment, okay. Look, here's a chapter on the road. So we can focus in on these two chapters, the ones we're interested in. And if you click on show subsections, it shows you here uh, the various subsections in that particular uh, chapter. So if we want, we can click on one of those. Here, Apocalypse in American Literature, we'll do that one. And it'll take us right to that page. And again, we can scroll through and read it just like we did with the article. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll again see that table of contents so you can flip around. Okay, here, there's our chapter that we're interested in, Apocalypse in American Literature, and we can scroll through and see if there's anything interesting. Again, we can search within the book. So here I'll type in uh, environ, oops, I spelled this right, environ, mentalism, and search. So you can see I searched within the book for the keyword environmentalism. It found the keyword three times in chapter one, not shocking, based on the title. So here it tells us on page 30, the word environmentalism appears once. And on page 42, it appears twice. So we can scroll through and find it, okay? Just like the databases, if you want, you can go ahead and get the book cited for you. You can click on the citation button, there it is. You can also use this little chain link icon here so you can share the link to the book with yourself. And then finally, if you want to print out or save pages, you have this little printer icon here that will do that for you. And again, you can download it or print it, whatever you want to do, okay? So again, if you guys can use the databases, you can use eBrary, and if you can use eBrary, you can use the databases. Now, if you guys get stuck or lost or confused, that's okay. You can get in touch with us. Uh, we have the little chat function here on the library homepage, so you can send us an uh, instant message. You can also contact me directly. So you can send an email, that's the best way to get in touch with me. We can do a Google Hangout section, session. So whatever works for you guys, just let us know. Uh, if you get stuck, we're more than happy to help you out. Okay, well, that's it. If you guys need anything, just let us know. All right, we'll see you later. Goodbye.